Today I'm going to build a safer, um, very quick also, uh, gloves on rat trap. So you don't have to take your gloves off when you're trapping. Um, first thing we're going to need is a drill and a bit. We're going to end up putting a piece of paracord through here or a rope of any kind. And we're going to loop it through, wrap it under here and basically create a lever. Gives a lot more control. Anywhere up in here is good. Uh, I did it right around the nose on this picture here, but uh, you're definitely going to want to do it on the side with the tongue. Now I'm going to go in and put the paracord in. Because this is going to have a knot fixed here on the back, uh, and you set it down so you don't uh, teeter too much, you probably get a little bit of that, but so, so you don't get much of that, I'm going to um, take out a little conical section of this right now. And I'm just going to use a little knife, and it doesn't have to be perfect. It's going in the woods. Okay. Keep that last little bit there. Okay. That uh, concavity right there should be good enough to keep that knot in there. Good, now I'm going to measure my length of paracord. Uh, so basically I have from here, and then this is mostly going to be a knot. So add that to it, come up to the end of the jaw, fold it back. You're going to be about here with the back of your hand, and you're going to add another knot. So right there is plenty. Um, not only do I heat the end of the paracord up to keep it from fraying, but also when you pinch it flat like this, uh, you'll get a nice little uh, anchor point for the bottom of your knots so they don't roll out. I'm just going to put a little granny knot in here. It's tight. I'm going to slip it up through the bottom. As you see, it doesn't come through. You can feed that up through the jaws. Let's put another knot on the end of it. Second knot for the back of your hand. Now, this is where you would grab it from the back of your hand. You would just pull it back like this and then walk your hand up and put your thumb under. You don't even have to touch the jaws if you don't want to. You can totally totally move your hand out of the way. Uh, you don't have to worry about getting your hand in any way worrying about getting pinched. But and Plus you have a lot more uh, with your thumb here depressing this. Uh, with this you get a lot more, because it's a lever, you get a lot more control over exactly finding that sweet spot inside your tongue, your pan. I'm going to lower this down. Uh, I still have to take this part off. 
And I'll put a pair of gloves on to demonstrate that. You can also make this with a mouse trap, same exact procedure. Uh, and I'll do one of those also for you. I'll show you how to set that too. Okay, when you go to set this, just put your index finger right under the bottom, your thumb up top. But try to keep a like that. If you leave a little bit of tension here, when you bring your tongue around, when you bring your tongue around to your pan, it pretty much sets itself and then you just let it off. Uh, another thing. If you're worried about the string we're it messing with your action, it's not, it's, it's not going to. You're already going to have it out here anyway. Uh, but if you're worried about, let's say, that, that little bit ain't going to cause no problems. Uh, if you want, when you put it back down and set it, you can put it to the side and you won't even have that. It'll go under the spring. The spring's already up a little bit here. So. Thick winter gloves. Not a lot of dexterity there. But we're still able to do it pretty pretty quickly. Scale down version.